It's time. Uh, uh, time to make that change. We are the people. We got to do it. Say it again. It's time. Oh, oh, yeah. Time to make that change. We are the people. Let's do it. I know we can do it. Somebody asked me, can we go through it? <laughs> We're living day to day. Somebody help me sing. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. Can't go too far with this, y'all. How y'all doing? I had to take a moment to calm myself down. Take a reprieve, get my mind right, and understand that God is still in charge of all of this, right? There's a higher power, and there's an evil force that is always present, okay? Always. There's negative energy, and there's positive energy. When you go out there and you don't have that negative uh, post and that positive post, let me tell you something. Your car ain't going to start, okay? If people don't throw dirt on you, and if it ain't no dirt in the ground, guess what, y'all? No matter how bad it look, the rose, the beautiful rose just can't grow, can it? So you need that dirt, huh? You need that negative charge to get you motivated, to get your mind in the right place, okay? Because you definitely want that positive to kick it off. But as you got to know, both of them have to be present. So you got a negative force and you got a positive force. Which one are you going to use? So my... First comments, I got to be, my heart goes out again to everybody who lost their life in Buffalo. I can start talking now. Uh, anybody who drives down three to four hours, only 18 years old and got that much hatred in their heart. They've been trained that way. Just like we've been indoctrinated to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag and we didn't know what the hell we were saying. But as we get older, we start going, I'm not pledging my allegiance to these crazy peoples. Just as you just as you know, you've been indoctrinated with that damn crap. This boy with the body armor that drove three to four hours down the Buffalo to kill black people, they've been indoctrinated the same way. And so in my opinion, his parents need to be arrested as well because he didn't have his own apartment. He lived somewhere. He lived with his mama and they paid the bills. And if they didn't know that their son had that kind of heavy artillery and what his mindset was, then they need to go. Let me tell y'all something. Um, I know people that wanted that 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 were foster parents, okay, and they had teenagers in their home, and so as long as they got paid, they really didn't really care too much of what the kids was doing because they figured it was already bad in the first place, and well, they'll just go with the um, therapist and yada yada yada. Well. The, I assumed, and I had a very good feeling, that these young people was way, way, way out of hand. And as y'all know, I am mandated by the state. Y'all do know I ran a group home for uh, treatment foster care kids and kids that were at risk, high risk, okay? Because as a staff, I felt like we knew how to deal with our kids because most of it come... And their problems come from families they ain't got no love. Okay? I can tell all off the bat 
when I meet an individual, whether their child has been neglected, emotionally neglected, nine out of ten times, I'm never wrong. Okay? Because a child that has shown love, like Frederick Douglass said, they're, they're, they're a different being. Their whole character comes out different. But when they've been brought up to snatch and to grab and to fight and to hear chaos and stuff going on all around them, they bring it to the environment for wherever they go. So I'm saying this young man, regardless of his color, okay, was grew up in a situation where they talked about black people all day long and how they probably wanted to kill us. And they probably talked about the Crips and the Bloods who go through the neighborhoods killing up people. And I've said the same thing. Okay? But here's where we differ. I believe the Crips and the Blood um, are have misplaced anger. And I believe if the Crips and the Blood would take that anger and place it where it should be, then we would have an army to protect us. We would have an army. Because guess what? There are some avenues and there are some areas where the cops don't even want it. They hit those easy targets. They don't want those moving targets that are shoot back with AK-47s in the works. They don't want it. I... I'm not advocating for no kind of violence, so don't flag me. I just find it very strange that y'all can arrest a lady. And I'm sure a few of y'all that have been on YouTube for a while, she made an angry comment. I think she went a little too far by saying we should kill, them, kill white people. And she was so upset that she said something so egregious. And they came and arrested her. OK, yet and still, this man had a manifesto and he was allowed to be on a white supremacist uh, 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 social media. Nobody shut him down. Nobody shuts the sites down. And they are allowed to make their plans and their blueprint of how they're going to destroy us right there before our very eye. And uh, police culture uh, really. Don't give a damn. They come after the situation is over because that's what they're there for after the mayhem has been done and they'll pick it up. Now, unless it's us, of course, they self-initiate the drama if it's if the face is brown. So what I say to myself when I look at the January 6th, and I, I'm going to be over, all over the place for a minute. Y'all just bear with me. When I look at the people that was in in that situation, they stormed the uh, Capitol. Now, if black people would have did that, I would have felt they would have been justified, no matter how many of us they would have took out. Because the way they've been treating us in this country, the way they've been treating us, we the only group of people I feel that had the right to do, <laughs> to do that. So, but somebody else that's white and feel that their rights are taken away, like those fools that rushed they don't even understand because they've been trained to hate us. Just like this boy right here. They've been trained to hate us. As if we've done something to them. Oh my God. But if we did, then we'd be shooting them every day. Right? That I mean, that's the truth. From all, they kill our kids. They do our babies. <clears throat> but I can't get too upset because we do it to our, our babies. We do it to ourselves. So I'm only going to go so far with this. Girl, if y'all don't get out of here, stop messing with me. I'm sorry, y'all. My dogs want to go out and kill the kittens next door. And so... No! No, Jackie! So they come into my room and stand up at my door and start screaming, I'm sorry, so I could let them go and go chase these dead. They had already been outside. Okay, so let's move on from that. I think Tucker Carlson should be um, 
I think he should be looked at and as far as his Rico law go. He's putting too much hatred out. Um, and this great replacement theory that this boy regurgitated up. Tucker Carlson talking about fundamental Americans. And my question would be, who in the hell do you think was here before you? What makes you think you can claim a place that you don't even... Listen, y'all are so psychotic. Your whole premise is psychotic. That's why you don't want critical race theory, which is not taught in schools, no way. But you don't even want to talk about black history. You want to take the books out of the school. You want to do it because y'all devils. And you know it. And you feel that when your children read and see just how demonic you have been to the human family, then they will feel bad about themselves. Well, you know what? There's a scripture and you call yourself a Christian nation that says you should know the truth and it's the truth that'll make you free. So if y'all can't keep going with these double standards and this hypocrisy and, and it's brown and black people, we have to be stupid to even align ourselves with the hypocrisy. If they're a Christian nation and they allowing black people to be executed the way we are, okay? And then they would add insult to injury by signing an Asian bill. Oh, Lord. Executive order. And Asian people aren't being annihilated half as bad as us because we are the bottom cast. And as, until you get that through your mind, that we are the shit on the bottom of people's shoes, that's what they want and that's what they've implanted. And it's because of the hatred of who we are, we have to stand strong and not hate ourselves. Because I just still believe that if this young man, back to the shooter, was allowed to buy body armor, have that come to no red flags, nobody come and arrest him. He's already on the Internet, on social media, on these uh, racist supremacist sites. Giving you a blueprint of what he's about to do. He's never stopped, but yet and still, that black woman that got up there and said that uh, that, and she was saying it out of anger because they had just killed Tamir Rice, the police, an eleven-year-old. So at this point, y'all got to know we just target practice for them. So at some point, we have to get our gang member relatives' uh, minds right. And if they going to continue to shoot us, as opposed to who our natural enemy is, then what we going to do, y'all? We cannot expect this federal government to protect us because guess what? They don't want to put us in this damn first in this in the first place. <laughs> they don't want to put us in the mess that we in. They said the shooter had on the gun. Here's your reparations. I hope Yvette Carnell heard that. While, of course, I know that black people are old reparation. I know it's going to take some life and some bloodshed in order for us to get it. But black people don't have nothing that they're willing to die for. They've been so poor that now that they got their bling bling and their big uh, ropes and, of diamonds around their neck. And you have these athletes that are making millions and millions of dollars. Most of them are in a situation where they're they like, what racism? I don't want to do that. None of these guys got the heart of Muhammad Ali or any of those guys that you saw back at Bill Russell. They don't have that kind of heart. It's not fashionable anymore, and they're not doing it anymore. Okay? It's not in their heart. Okay? But see, it was in Muhammad's heart, and that's why you couldn't shut them up. When it's in your heart, <laughs> listen, y'all. And I know all my church folks going to remember. It's a song that goes, It's in my heart, this melody of love divine. It's in my heart. See, it's got to be in your heart. Like Ezekiel said, hide the word in my heart. So my point I'm trying to make 
without getting off too far with this. If this stuff is in your heart, if those gang members are really about it and all they can shoot up is their own family members, we got to do something about it. We can't just keep being little cowards and hiding in corners, scared of everybody. Scared of our own children. Scared of the police. Scared of people that come down, Dylan Roof coming to a church to sit down with us and blast us. When are we going to say enough is enough? When are we going to say and start arming ourselves and be ready, be on deck? Because this culture, at this point, 400 years later, first we were just uh, slaves and they saw us physically. But to keep indoctrinating people with that weird or low, keep indoctrinating people um, and not having any punishment for burning us alive. These white people coming home from church and then figure we'll have a pick a nigga, a nigga and then we'll pick them and burn them. There's never been consequences. All the way up to January 6th, white people do what the fuck they want to do. Never been any consequences. Now what? We going to keep it, letting them pick us off one by one? Or are we going to say, okay, and nobody to protect me. And God only gave me two um, actually responses to this type of drama. Either I'm a, or, or I say three. Either I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a flight, fight, or I'm a fight, and if I'm in shock, I might just freeze. Okay, and we don't want you to be in shock because a lot of us are in shock, but we got to snap out of it. We anytime somebody can drive three to four hours to come down from another city to kill, that can happen any place, anytime, anywhere, and if it's our time to go, we're gonna go. But at the end of the day, we shouldn't be easy picking. This Tucker Carlson, every sane and rational person should really be out now and boycotting this man show, holding Fox accountable, uh, Rupert Murdoch, all these people that allow this type of supremacy stuff to be spewed all across the air, that we can end up having a result like this. We have to deal with them. That the RICO law, the same RICO laws that y'all want to use on Young Thug, you have to use them now on Tucker Carlson and his little minions. That's just my honest opinion. It it really is because um at this point um uh, I I mean you got police. And they say police, and that name sounds real high and falutin and stuff like that. But they're really a game. I see them participating in the same activity that gang members participate in. You can't run a society like that. And if you do, then if you come to me and whoever else that is not committing any crimes, don't plan on committing any crimes, that try to be a law abiding, that isn't a law abiding citizen, and now you want to do me one, then I got to get you before you get me. It is what it is. I'm not, I'm on offense. Okay. So I would hope that we wouldn't, and I know it's definitely, I, I don't want to spend too much time being re-traumatized because that's what they do. They keep showing the shit, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat, keep showing the shit over and over and over again. Now we've all been just so, incent you know, we just been normalized to this type of drama. And then in a few days we forget about it. And then they're going to go and shoot somebody else. And then it, we refuse to be proactive. And black people, how can we afford to not be proactive? How? How? Again, if we know gang members and we got them in our family and they're not willing to protect us from people like this guy that drove to the tops, 
that we got we got to figure out what we gonna do with them. Uh, that's just my opinion, my humble opinion. All right, I wanna know what y'all think. Like what you hear, cause I'm at twenty, and please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video.